I will teach you the basic logic, simple basic logic, and then I will solve you in front of you the question and how simple you can understand. So this is the one of the question in the uh, paper one, question number second, I'm talking the limit, which so many people have the lot of uh, miss nearly four or five steps or ten steps has to be somebody doing by this method, somebody doing by that method. I'm talking about the students, I'm not talking about the teachers. So those please avoid and go with the basic method. What the logic, two logic they wanted to know. One is that ki whenever any limit is coming and if both are approaching towards infinity, I'm assuming ki basic little bit limit you know. This is also approaching towards infinity. This is also approaching towards infinity. Then divide by the quantity which is creating infinity will give you answer. For example, suppose I say limit x approaches to uh, 0. Limit x approaches to 0 plus, let's take it, 0 plus ln x by 5 plus 2 ln x. If I am asking, can we solve this question? Yes, very easily. Because when x ln x graph you will try to draw this is the graph of ln x and when x is near to 0 ln x near to minus infinity so this is the infinity by infinity form so you can divide by the term which is creating infinity who is creating infinity in the numerator ln x denominator also ln x divide by ln x so you will get limit x approaches to 0 plus 1 by 5 by ln x plus 2 and this part will become 0 because this is the form of 5 by infinity. So this part will become 0 here, this part. So answer of this part will be 1 by 2. I hope you're able to understand this logic. Everybody did the practice infinity by infinity form of the limit. Whenever it's coming, how it has to be done. Always search which term creating infinity, divide by that, that will give you the answer. And this is the correct way of solving the limit. Am I right? Yes. Second thing. Second thing, let me explain you. Suppose if I say limit x approaches to 0, sin x by x is 1, you will say this value is 1. I will say you learn this way, a limit x approaches to 0, sin x will be approached to x, means sin x can be replaced by x whenever x approaches to 0. Simple, very simple, direct answer. Suppose somebody say, I have to get the answer of this. Limit x approaches to 0 sin 7x by sin, uh, sin 8x. So I will say 7x will behave like 7, sin 7x behave like 7x, 8x sin 8x will behave like 8x, x get cancelled answer 7 by 8. Do you understand? All of you understood the point? Huh. Every formula, whatever in the limit you study, same thing will work. One formula I will talk because this is going to be used in this question. So limit x approaches to 0, e power x minus 1 by x. That is one that learn this way, ki whenever x approaches to 0, e power x minus 1 will approach towards x. Means e power x minus 1, I can write as a x. Finish. See question, one step direct. First, I will try to solve this limit. Limit x approaches to alpha plus 2 ln root x minus root alpha divided by divided by ln e power root x minus e power alpha so e power root alpha can i take common so that i can get e power x minus 1 to so e power i'll get root x minus root alpha minus 1 that's all and all of you know the formula ln ab always equal to ln a plus ln b so this question will become limit x approaches to alpha plus 2 ln root x minus root alpha divided by ln a to so ln e power root alpha so that will become directly root alpha ln e power root alpha is what root alpha plus ln e power root x minus think carefully e power root x minus root alpha minus 1 I can approximate root x minus root alpha that's what I am trying to teach you x approaches to alpha plus. So x approaches to alpha plus, this will approach towards 0. Whenever e power 0 minus 1 is coming, that can be replaced by 0. So I can write this one as a root x minus root alpha. Your question finished. 
When x approaches to alpha plus, this will approach towards 0, this will also approach towards 0, this is the infinity by infinity form. Ln zero. When ln x will approach minus infinity, whenever x approaches to 0, this is approaching towards 0, this is also approaching towards 0, so this value will approach towards minus infinity. Divide by this quantity, you will get limit x approaches to alpha plus 2 by root alpha divided by ln root x minus root alpha plus 1. Are you able to understand? Now, this is approaching towards minus infinity. This is some finite number. Are you getting? This is some finite number. So, this value will become 0. This value will become 0. So, answer of this part will be 2. 2 by 1 means 2. Question finish. Now, what they ask you? They ask you limit x approaches to alpha plus g f of gx. fx is a continuous function. So, this limit can go inside. So, we'll say this will be f, this value will be equal to f of G, limit x approaches to alpha plus gx and that is the 2 we already got it f2 and f2 will be equal to sine 2 pi by 12. Believe me, I taken so much time because I wanted to explain you the answer of this question will become 1 by 2. I taken so much time just to explain you the things otherwise it's just one step question. This is just one step question. I'm not giving you any trick. I'm not giving you any shortcut. I don't believe in the shortcut. I don't believe in the trick. Basic fundamental law limit IIT syllabus says, IIT concept, NCRT says, everyone thing says, ki go with the basic logic. Basic logic is not Ella Hospital. Basic logic is not a series. Basic logic is that approximation, limiting value. What will be limiting value? e power x minus 1 when x approaches to 0, that will be x itself. That's what the logic they wanted to check. If you know that logic, this question is oral. Otherwise, keep on doing and start crying that this is a very lengthy paper. So, I will be discussing every question one by one slowly. So, as, as I will discuss, I will keep updating on the YouTube. Right? Thank you very much.